Okay, Bismillah ar rahim Binomial versus normal. Uh, first of all, um, you see that in, in your binomial uh, distribution, we deal with the discrete data. Okay? We deal with the discrete data. And here in this normal distribution, we have the continuous data here. Okay, we have the continuous data. You will never find a question in a normal distribution where you will have to find the probability x equal to something, like x equal to r. This, this will not be asked, okay? Cannot be asked to you in normal distribution, okay? Um, while in this discrete data, uh, like in this binomial distribution, you have seen this many a times that you found the questions where like, you know, you were finding probability X equal to two or whatever, like Istra said. So uh, the, the first major difference is that um, the, the binomial distribution is going to deal with the discrete data and the normal distribution is going to de uh, deal with the continuous data. <clears throat> so secondly, uh, in this uh, binomial distribution, this n, the number of trial is known, okay? That is known. Uh, we have to basically find like uh, its parameters are uh, n and the probability of success, okay? So when, when we say that I want to find the probability that x equal to two, so that is basically, uh, we are looking for uh, two successes. Then we must know out of what, so therefore, this n is known in um, this um, binomial distribution. Now, in this normal distribution, n is purely insignificant. Okay, there is no 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 need of this n. That is not required. Okay, that is not required here uh, uh, because it 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 in generally uh, in general it deals with with a very big population. Okay, for instance. Um, we say that um, um, the uh, a certain in a certain area uh, the um, the heights of people they are normally distributed okay and when we say normally distributed then uh, there are certain parameters that are supposed to be there with us so that is the mean and the variance these are given to us so these are the parameter of uh, um, um, of the <clears throat> normal distribution. Let me write this a bit uh, correctly. This has to be written as X is normally distributed. I have to write N over here. And similarly, I forgot to write B over here. Okay. So this was to be written as X is binomially distributed with the, uh, the with these two parameters. Achha. So um, your normal distribution, this um, N is insignificant, okay? We are talking about a very large population, people living in Pakistan, people living in, in Lahore. Uh, we are talking about the, the trees uh, of Punjab, whatever. So this N is not significant in this um, uh, normal distribution. Okay, so first thing that binomial distribution deals with the discrete data, n has to be known, and this deals with the continuous data, and n is not um, significant in case of this normal distribution. Now, the next major difference over here is that when you have to find the probability, like uh, suppose you have x is binomially distributed with n as number of trials, p the probability of success, then the probability x equal to r, probability x equal to r is calculated through the formula n c r, and this is p raised to power r and q raised to power um, n minus r. Uh, in this normal distribution, we don't have any formula for the, uh, I mean a direct formula to find the probabilities. We shall be finding the probabilities from, uh, I mean, a table over here, which is known as the standard normal uh, distribution table. Let me show you how does this look like. So this, there, will, there will be a table like this. We'll be finding the probabilities through this table, okay? And uh, very soon I'm gonna tell you how do we do that.
okay so first of all you need to be very clear that what are the differences what are the relations between the binomial distribution and the normal distribution so here the probabilities are found from the normal distribution table okay normal distribution table and i'll tell you how to read that table uh, shortly okay acha uh, so i think these were the differences between the binomial and a normal distribution that i have told you okay next i'll be telling the the salient features of a normal distribution okay